Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm excited to show you how you can use our very own beloved Kotus UI library to use this amazing carousel effect without any effort to be honest. Let's get started. So as always I'm going to go to Kotus.com and I will go to the front end and I'm going to go to the Kotus UI framework. So in the UI framework documentation, you can see that on the left side, we have a bunch of, you know, de defined elements and also components. So what I'm interested in is in this carousel component here, but first you have to go to the installation and then you basically need to include these two uh, links to the CSS and the JavaScript of the library. So I'm going back to the Kotus online editor, the code nest, and in the CSS, I'm going back to the library i'm copying this html uh, this sorry link to the css of the link and i'm going to paste it over here but generally if you're not using an online editor you just can add it to the the whole link to your head uh, tag so i'm going to save this over here and then i also need to get the javascript part of it so i'm just going to copy the whole javascript here and come back here and paste it actually in the html so usually the script tag is at the end of the uh, HTML body that you need to use. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to go to the carousel down here. And then already you, you can see that there is a usage. So for a simple carousel, you can use this piece, but I'm going to use the one that has actually control. So I'm pressing on this copy button here. It copies the whole thing. Going back to my uh, HTML, I paste it over here. That's about it. Uh, the next thing I want to do, as you can see, we have our carousel uh, denoted by CDT carousel within a container. So this container can be any div in your HTML or any any place in your HTML where you want to put your carousel. So for the purpose of this tutorial, um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it some width and height. So I'm just going to give it a width of 600 pixel and height of 400 pixel, right? So as you can see, there are things popping up now. For this purpose of sections, you can obviously, you know, add some elements within the section. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the Google images, search for nature, and I'm going to copy a bunch of these images. So copy image address. Be very though, don't use these images in your production code. They might actually be copyrighted. But for the purpose of like, uh, you know, education, it's, it's going to be fine. So I'm going back to my here in the CSS, I'm going to say section and I'm just going to give it a background URL and then paste the URL. Since we have four sections over here, let's just make it three uh, for simplicity and remove one of these LIs over here so that they match. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. I'm going to choose the second section and I'm just going to go ahead and choose another image. So let's choose this image, for example. I'm copying the image address from here, going back here and replace it with this. And then I'm going to use another one for the third one. So I'm just going to use the third one. So I'm going to the images again. Maybe, maybe let's choose this one. So I'm just going to copy address for this one as well, going back here and paste it over here. Finally, if you go back to the Kotus UI library, there is a place where it actually says you need to include the JavaScript API. So I'm just going to copy this JavaScript API, going back to my code in my JavaScript. I already added this, but you can obviously, the way you do it, you just paste it here. It asks for your carousel selector, and I'm just going to call it my carousel. So this is the actual carousel. I'm just going to call it my carousel. You can even use CDT carousel. It's up to you. And I'm here. I'm just going to say the selector, which is a class. So my carousel, right? Finally, uh, the next the, or the final thing is that you have some attributes to set. So if you want to have like a carousel type that fades, overlays, slides or slide sense. So I'm just going to copy this. Coming back to my code in my HTML, and I'm going to add this data carousel type. Let's just start with fade, for example. And for the fade, we have to define a data opacity duration, which is the data uh, it takes for the time it takes for the opacity to change when you use fade. 
So I'm just going to add that one as well. And I'm going to say maybe 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. So now if I start pressing the next, you can see that it already starts showing, showing me some fading effects. But now we have to fix something over here because it's actually like this. I made a mistake there. So now if you notice, press next, it fades to the other picture and it fades to the other picture. And you can see that it actually, you know, uh, preserves the order of these as well. So having that in mind, I can use another type, which is a slide. So now I change it to slide. If I press next, you can see that it actually slides and then back, right? And whenever it stops, uh, there's nothing before or after it removes the sort of arrow. The next thing I want to do, I can change this to actually overlay. So now if you notice, you have a different effect. It actually has like an overlay effect, right? So I'm just going to change it back to slide. The other cool thing is that if you go to the carousel page in these attributes, you can see that you have data auto slide and you have data infinite, right? So if I set the data infinite and these are the values you can set. So if I set the data infinite to be true, you will see that it no longer stops after it finishes the last section. So if I press next, you can see that it goes next and then it just continues moving forward but obviously looping through the images or sections that you have over here. And the same goes with the background, right? So that's pretty cool. And finally, the other feature you have, and this is a request whenever we had these tutorials before that uh, I personally created some carousels and got a lot of attractions. A lot of people ask, can you add data auto slides so that they actually automatically go? So I'm just going to copy this data auto slide and I'm going to set the data auto slide here to true, right? So as you can see, you already have like a kind of a slide, but another one thing you have to add is this data slide delay. So I'm coming here, I add the data slide delay to be maybe 2000. And now you can see that it waits two seconds and then it moves just like that, right? How cool is that? See, I'm not touching anything. It just auto slides forward and there you go. So you have a powerful carousel made really, really fast. And obviously it took a lot of time for me to describing it, but literally it takes less than like one minute or two to create a carousel like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take a look and check out the Kotus uh, UI library. It actually has a pretty cool effects that you can use and the elements of course. And let me know if you have any feedbacks or comments or if something doesn't work. I appreciate if you tell us so that we can fix it for the later iterations. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like this tutorial and subscribe if you haven't. See you next time. Goodbye.